hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new and i said if you're new be sure to smash that subscribe button i said smash that subscribe button so as you can tell by the title in the thumbnail this is a long awaited video so today is currently february 20th and I'm just here to give y'all a little update and backstory because I'm going to title this the beginning slash end process of starting my clothing brand, which is going to be the, well not the, but that's the Instagram name of Pretty Girl Apparel. So, in January this year of 2023, I got the idea. I was like, hmm, it's, it's something more I want to do. And I've been thinking, thinking like, girl, what you want to do? And I'm like, I want to start me a clothing brand. And my mom also gave me an idea too because y'all know, if you watch me constantly, watch me on TikTok, or if you know me very well, I love clothes, I love to shop. And she was just like, you keep showing all these other people support rocking their stuff, make something of your own. So I'm like, hmm, she has a point. So I'm like, hmm, let me do my research and think of what I want to do, what I want to call my brand. And so one day I'm just in the bed, I'm thinking, hmm, what would I call it if I did start me a color brand? And then I was thinking of names and then one day the Pretty Girl Apparel came to mind. So back in January, I made my first logo one night. I was just bored. And me and my mom was talking, she was like, oh, you could use like some models or silhouettes and that could be a part of your logo. So, hmm, I did that. And this is my first logo. You can't really see, but I have everything on the screen. And that was on January 10th. And I'm like, hmm, that's not really giving what it needs to give. And so, I had made me an Instagram like, Two days later, but I hadn't told anybody yet because you know when I come out with it, I wanna come out with a bang. So, cause y'all know I'm extra, I'm a Leo, duh. And so I'm like, mm, that's not really giving top notch on eight of this. <laughs> yeah, it's not really giving what I wanted to give. So I kept brainstorming, I kept brainstorming, and then I started doing research, and I'm like. They tell us something about mock-up. So a mock-up is basically when you have the product, like for instance, my beanies. This is my one of my beanie mock-ups that I made. That's like when you make the product graphically to send to the manufacturer and they will make it for you. Exactly like your mock-up. And so a few days later I'm like, hmm, I don't really like that um logo so then i reached out to calvin calvin is who made my vlogmas intro and he also made my new logo and y'all when he made the logo i'm like oh my gosh this is perfect i love it i sent him my vision and he made it come to life like calvin is the bomb where is it mm. so this is my excuse me my logo my current logo pretty girl of hero y'all it's bum it is so cute and then i posted this on instagram i'll just put excuse me everything on the screen but yes he made that new logo on so he made that new logo on January 25th so I then posted on my Instagram that I'm about to launch me a clothing brand soon so I started getting followers followers from people who support your girl and I love y'all for those of y'all who have supported me I haven't even dropped anything yet all I said was I'll be dropping a clothing brand soon and I already have almost 100 followers. I have 71 followers so far. So thank you to all of y'all who have supported me so far. It means the world to me. And if you want to support me as well, follow me on Instagram at the.prettygirlapparel on Instagram. And 
keep up with me on TikTok at Slay with Trace because that's where I'll be promoting everything and I promote on YouTube, promote on Instagram. So yeah. So then even before he started um I got my new logo, I had started making mock-ups because I'm like, hmm, what do I wanna want it to look like? So this was like my very first mock-up. That. It's cute, but it was still kind of, mm, I don't know. So, I made it in light pink and dark pink. And then, once I got my new logo from, um, can see this is the light pink and dark pink one. You can't see, but I'm going to put everything on the screen. Once I got my new logo, my mom was like, you should just do everything with that logo. Don't just do words. Do everything with the logo. So then I made this mock-up. And also, before I got my logo, I made some mock-up beanies. I don't know why I keep showing the phone, but I'm, I'm going to show y'all. And I made some um, mock-up sweatsuits for my brand. So this was my first mock-up that I made on the 27th. It has like the logo and hot pink and it's going to be on a pink sweatsuit and then on the back it says pretty girl apparel and across the butt it says pretty. Right? So I sent it to I found several I started looking for vendors way before I started making the, the mock-ups so once I made the mock-ups I could just send it to them so I had I found um, a vendor in Pakistan a vendor in China two vendors in China because I also want to do like a skims dupe type of loungewear as well and that should be to me soon because I believe she shipped it off two days ago. So that would be on the 18th. And then the other Chinese vendor. So one Chinese vendor shipped it off on the 14th. It's the 20th. I received it today. I do not think I'm going to go with that special. I'm going to open it up for you guys and show you guys what it looks like. But... I believe I'm going to end up going with the vendor in Pakistan because I've been communicating with them for a while now and they're really starting to see my vision. So they even asked to make me like, you know, the personalized tags that's inside the clothes, the one that's the paper that you rip off the clothes, put my Instagram on it, QR code, all that. So they're even doing me some beanies in bulk and then a sample sweatsuit. So, um, yeah, and then um, the other Chinese vendor, she's going to do like a Skims dupe, but Pretty Girl apparel. So once I get my other samples, I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to talk to you guys some more about my ideas. And yeah, but I will show you guys my other mock-ups of my beanies, but my iPad is going to die. So I'm going to come back when I get my other samples to show you guys, like I can show you the mock-up I made and I can show you how it came out when I received those beanies in bulk because my vendor in Pakistan said he will be sending them to me tomorrow and I should have them by Friday or Saturday and today's Monday. But let me get the one, the sweatsuit from the vendor, one of the vendors in China and show you guys what it looks like and we'll talk about it. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is the sweatsuit from the vendor in China. Thank you, Felix. So let's open this and see what we got. Even though I know I'm most likely not gonna go with this one because she sent me a picture of it and it's just not what I was going for at all. And hopefully the one from the guys in Pakistan come out exactly how I want it. So I can go ahead and order my bulk order. And they can start working on it. Because the, produ the production time is, I think he said two weeks to make everything. And then it'll take another week to get to me. So in all three weeks. So I'd have to wait 
another three weeks and it's already the end of February. So I thought I was gonna be able to drop the end of February, but it's looking like more so the end of March, even though it'll be warming up, but everybody needs a good sweatsuit, jacket, sweatpants. You can wear the jacket, you can wear that sweatsuit, you can wear the pants, whatever you're gonna do. So let's open this. I need some scissors. Oops. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'll be right back. Y'all, this reminds me of Shein. Y'all know how they can pack up bags and bags and bags in one bag. Look how they stuff this package. Like, it's literally stuffed. How am I even supposed to open this? Chinese people? Come on, guys. You're sending this to Americans. Like, how did you even... Let me get some scissors, hold on. All right, y'all, so this is my first sample. I do not think I'm gonna go with this one based on the pictures, but let's open it and see what we got. I'm nervous. Okay, they, they suction that good. Okay, let's see. See, I already see a mistake. I asked for, oh, well, never mind. It might be giving a little bit. So, this is the front. It's Pretty Girl Apparel. I hate how the zipper is black though. I wanted a pink zipper. Cause, you know, unless this was a black jacket with a black zipper, it would've been okay, but no, it's like pink with a black zipper. I do not like that. And then the back has Pretty Girl Apparel. I do not think I will, sorry, I was filming on my phone too. I do not think I will be going with this one. But it is still cute since I got me some merch now. And then these are the pants. Yeah, no. They messed up the pants because it's supposed to have pretty across the butt, but you can't even read it. Like, tell me down below if y'all can read this. It's supposed to say pretty across the butt. You can't even read the E because they sold on the E. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? They should have sold the pants first, then put the um the word on there right I mean hold on you can kind of read it I have to try it on and see how it looks I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try it on okay this is how the pants look on Ooh, hold on guys so this is how the pants, how the outfit looks on. Excuse the mess in the background. But this is how it looks. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna go with this. And then I just don't like how, oop. But yeah, that's how the pants look. I feel like you cannot really read the word across the butt. It's not giving pretty like what I wanted it to give. Like, mm, it's, it looks like it's hard to read the E since it has that seam right across my, my butt. You can't see, but. See, like. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But it's it's not giving what I wanted it to give. So we'll have to see what my other sample looks like when it gets here. And I just don't like how it has this black zipper. I'd rather have a pink zipper. Hopefully, I told my other vendor that. I believe I did. Let me see. And I like the sizing though. It's an extra large, it fits true to size. It's not baggy. Yes, thank goodness I told the other vendor I wanted a pink zipper. So I already know that one will look 100 times better. And this is the up close of my logo on the jacket. 
Can't really see him more focus. There we go. Pretty girl apparel. And I don't feel like this is so small. I don't know. I'll just have to wait to see what my other sample is giving. And then I will check back in with y'all in a few days. Stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so we got in another sample. Can you guess what it is? Scams. Dope. Kim Kardashian. Dope. Period. We're giving the girls loungewear. But all the pretty girls gonna rock this loungewear. Period. Let's see what it's giving. If it's giving what it's supposed to give, I'm gonna drop this. So my pretty girls can have them some loungewear on a budget. Perk. Let me not cut it. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> I'm nervous. Hopefully it's, it's giving. Hopefully it's giving what it's supposed to give, honey. Okay, this looks like shirt. I'm guessing. Let's see. Let me make sure my hands not dirty. Oh, damn. too thin. You can't even see my hand through it. Giving good material. It's cute. And then you know like how Skims has the logo as like the same color on the color. So it says pretty girl. And this is real cute. Skims doop. Okay, it's definitely giving skims, but pretty girl. Okay, pretty girls. Tell me what y'all think down below in the comments. Y'all rocking this loungewear? So that's the shirt. Short sleeve, because it's, it's getting warm. I got a shirt sample, a pants, and a shorts. So you get a two-piece set. Let's see what they're giving. So, I think this is the shorts. Oh, this is cute. Skims do, and this is real cute. Kim Kardashian, who? Oh yeah, skims on the budget, but it's giving pretty girl for my pretty girls. So my pretty girls go ahead and tap in. I definitely think I'm going to launch this. I gotta try it on for y'all, see what it's giving. And this is the pants. Let me see how to open it. Oh, here it is. Y'all, this is the one. I'm excited. I'm excited. Ah! My vision is starting to come to life, y'all. And these are the pants. And it just says, pretty girl. You know how it's supposed to be color on color. Like skins, of course. Yes, y'all. This is so cute. And the fabric is good. It doesn't feel like cheap or to see through but I'm gonna have to try it on just to make sure so I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna try it on come show y'all how it look hey guys so this is the quality on the body I'm a little chunky so don't judge it's not even see through great quality like yeah you can see your panty line but that's to be expected and I would definitely wear dark panties my panties are light blue, so you can probably see them. 
but the quality is definitely there because I had to size up in my skims. For reference, I'm an extra large to a 1X. This is an extra large. My skims was a 2X. Like, it's the quality for me. Y'all, copy or not. Nah. And this is the top. I'm holding my chest because I don't have a bra on. So, yeah, this fits really good. It's true to size, but if you wanted a little looser, I would size up. So, I'll definitely be getting these from my vendor. So, prepare to shop with your girl. Follow me on Instagram at the.prettygirlapparel. And I'll see you guys when I get my next sample in. Hey guys, so today is... February 27th, you know how I told you guys I have a vendor in China, a vendor in, and a vendor in Pakistan. I tried two vendors in China. One of them was that first sweatsuit that was a no-go. The second one was the loungewear that I showed y'all last. Loved it. Went ahead and put in my bulk order on Saturday the 25th and... It was very expensive, so be sure to support your girl and follow me on Instagram at the dot pretty girl of Hero. And by the time this video is up, I will have my website, so the website will be in the description box as well. So today's package is actually from the vendor in Pakistan. So I've been conversing with them for like a month now, and I finally, finally got my items. I'm so excited. I've seen pictures, so hopefully the pictures do them justice and it looks even better in person. I'm really nervous because, y'all, this was a big investment, so let's open this box. And something about people in overseas, man, they can fill a box. This box is so tight, like, oh my gosh, look at this. Like, look how they stuffed this box. This is ridiculous. It's taped literally all over the box. I don't even know where I should try to open this at. Actually, I will be back because I'm going to get my mom to help me. And I will come back and show y'all once the box is open. Alright guys, so my mom started opening the box for me. Okay, you see, yeah, let's try to... I don't want to cut it because they stuffed it so much. I don't want to... I didn't really cut anything, but I might have to a little bit. Okay, that's enough. Let's see, let's see. Ah! We're opening it! Let me record this on my phone, too. Okay, so let me break it down to y'all. I got me another sample sweatsuit, tracksuit, whatever you want to call it. Then I went ahead and did my bulk order for my beanies because I'm like, why? Do I don't need a sample of a beanie. It's a beanie. Like, if it's, you know, it's a beanie. And I saw that work, so I'm like, it should be okay. So I went ahead and did my bulk order for my beanie so I can go ahead and start selling those before it gets too warm outside. Cause you know it's gonna be spring but on like chillier days and rainy days you can just throw in your beanie and go about your day so i did you have to do at least 50 and i got 25 black and 25 pink so since this one is already open probably no more like that so i can just pack them and ship them as i get orders this is the black one this is my logo but, like, since the words were black, you couldn't put it how it is on my actual logo because you wouldn't be able to see it. So, we moved the words to the bottom 
and put apparel underneath the heart. So it says pretty girl apparel and on the back it has the two white hearts. This is so cute. And they also made my tag and laminated, laminated them. It has pretty girl apparel in pink. That is so cute. And then on the back it has a QR code to my Instagram. So before you take it off or once you take it off, you can go directly to my Instagram and follow me once you get your package. If you're not already following me, let's see if it works. Let's see. It is. Look, look, y'all. Ah, oh, pretty girl apparel. It works. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So this is so cute. Let me wrap that back up because I'm going to do some content pictures for those so I can launch the website and I'll probably wear the pink one and someone else will do the black one and we'll take pictures together to put on my website once it goes live and of course this is the pink on pink one it says pretty girl apparel and light pink just like my logo and also has the pink hearts on the back with my tag as well. Pretty Girl Apparel and the Instagram. Y'all, that is so cute. Let me take the rest of these out the box so I can show y'all the tracksuit. Because like I said, it's 50 of them. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Alright, y'all. I love, 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 love my beanies. But this is what I was waiting for. For real, for real, like, y'all. I've been waiting for a minute for this package. Like, literally a month. Or longer. So, let's open this. And let's see how my sweatsuit came out. I most likely will not be dropping this anytime soon. Since it's about to be spring. But, if it comes out exactly how I want it. For the fall. Oh, babe, it's up. And it's stuck. So, y'all know I hated my first one from the vendor in China, but y'all. Oh, I love it. I already love the back. Look at the back. So, the back. Pretty girl apparel. It's kind of wrinkly because it was folded. And then on the front, instead of having the heart on the side, the logo. It's in the middle. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. I really love it. And it's a full zip. It like zips all the way to the top. Oh, period. Okay. And that's the top. And then here's the bottoms. And the back of the butt says pretty. And you can read it this time, y'all. Like, what? And it has the drawstrings like it's supposed to. It has my tag. Uh-oh, the pants are a little... Something on it. I'm going to wash it. So, at least I know if it'll shrink or not in a washer and dryer. And then I got a size extra large because this is for me, of course. And then, y'all... Look at my tag. Like, I'm doing YouTube too. Look at my tag. Pretty girl apparel. Period. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. I gotta try them. I'm gonna try this on. And I'm gonna be right back. Hold on, y'all. Hey, guys. So, this is the sweatsuit. This is a jacket. Pretty girl apparel. On the front. And... This is the pants. It looks so much better than the first one. Pretty across the booty. Because this booty is pretty too. And then this is the, the back of the hoodie. I don't know if y'all can see. But this is the back. It says pretty girl apparel. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, babe, don't play with it. Period. <laughs>